why you should never count calories or macros. Well, first of all, you'll never need to count calories or macros if you weigh and measure your food. If you know how much you're eating, half cup, quarter cup, one cup, three ounces, six ounces, four ounces, whatever the, the measurement is, two tablespoons, uh, one teaspoon, irrespective, whatever the measurement is, if you know that, you're never going to need to count calories or macros. If you base your eating portions, if you base your portion sizes off measurements, or if you base your eating off portion sizes, that's a better way to word it, you'll never need to count calories or macros. So let's be clear on that right away. Another reason is the problem with counting calories and, and macros is that it could be the first step to an eating disorder. It could be. Let me explain why that is. Whenever you count calories or macros, you remove the type of food from the equation and focus only on the energy unit of the food. Let me give you an example. In the eyes of a, of a macro counter, 50 grams of carbs from cotton candy is exactly the same as 50 grams of carbs from sweet potatoes. You see where I'm going with that? In the eyes of a macro counter. And that's why I've said, you've heard of the, uh, the diet program called IIFYM, which stands for If It Fits Your Macros. And you may have heard of the, um, it's the same thing as flexible dieting. And those were really popular about three or four years ago, and they're not as popular anymore. Uh, just because people see how pernicious they are and that they really don't work long term for most people. Um, but anyway, the reason for that is those two specific types of uh, diet programs, they focus on counting macros. You know, and people like that oftentimes believe that you can eat ice cream after you lift, lift weights, or, or any time during the day. You know, they think that, a, that, that junk food magically becomes healthy if it fits your macros. And so, you know, well, well, who determines your macros? You, a personal trainer, your dietitian, Dr. Oz, who, who's determining your specific macro needs, right? So, and that's a whole different problem within itself, but getting back on point is that you never want to count macros because it removes the type of food from the equation and focuses only on the energy unit right you're better off eating avocados jasmine rice acorn squash butternut squash walnuts asparagus grass-fed beef wild salmon halibut orange roughy sea bass yellowfin tuna broccoli cauliflower carrots you're better off eating healthy foods in large amounts or even in amounts that you don't even know your macros than you are eating a, uh, a, a, a set portioned out, a set allotted macro assignment from garbage foods um, with ice cream or a lot of people love Pop-Tarts, a lot of macro counters love Pop-Tarts, then you are doing that. So we always, you know, the, the bottom line take home point is we want the type of food will always, uh, will always trump the total calorie or macro amount, always, always, always. And I need to do a different broadcast on this and a different, a different video tack on that exact topic. Um, but hope this helped. If it did, do me a favor, thumbs up the video. Click on my URL link below to get to my website. It's in the description box below. And I have a ton of content on the website, a ton of uh, meal prep videos, a ton of blogs, webinars, everything to help you guys get better. We're out of here.